Okay, so now I've got it hooked up to the Raspberry Pi. From my experiments last year, uh, I got better performance when I had the uh, RTL right at the Raspberry Pi and the cable in between. So you can see it's getting its power for the uh, Sawbird. So that's the LMR400 cable. And um, we're getting approximately like 400 to 500 bits. And there's a fair amount of wind blowing right now, so the antenna is moving a little bit, but hopefully that'll work. There's my uh, LMR 400, and um, there's the connection to the Raspberry Pi. There's my RTL, and there's the LMR 400. And I've connected the Raspberry Pi to the local area network, and I'm using Putty to get into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I've got uh, everything hooked up here, and the wind has dropped down, and I've got my bits. Um, I've got my bits down to um, like under 400, and there are no drops in packets right now. So everything's. Uh, I just tweaked my antenna a little bit um, to get the best performance, so there are no drops here. But what I do now is I get into the Raspberry Pi using Putty. So there's Putty. I'm already in, but I'll just show you what my settings are. I would load my go uh, my go settings. That's so 192, 168, 012, port 22. That gets me in. So I'm already in, and you can see here that I'm running. Uh, you can see the command there. Whoops, uh, because it's printing out here. You can see actually the printout here. Uh, right now my vits are around 358, but there are no drops, which is good news. So if you look at the top here, you see that I'm running goes receive the goes receive command goes receive minus V minus I etc with the configuration file that you've set up so I'm running that okay and that's giving me this screen here I also went in there again uh, with putty and I'm running another uh, command here and this is the command to write all the files here so um, if you go into go 16 on the github it's a fantastic a description of there of, of how the software works so um, I'm just using this command here goes processing minus C user share goes tool and it's writing all the particular files okay so as the packets come in they're assembled and everything looks okay you can see that it's writing all the uh, JPEGs there but I've, I've had it running there for a couple of minutes so basically I've got two putty sessions running one showing me the bits and the other one uh, showing me the writing of the files and then I've also used FileZilla and using the same FTP um, uh, 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 FTP address I got in there and under Go16 uh, all the files are saved in here and also in another directory NWS but I don't think there's anything, no, there's nothing current from NWS, National Weather Service. So everything is written in a GO16. So what I've done is I've just downloaded GO16 uh, to my desktop on my laptop here. And um, here's one of the files uh, that I've received. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. So there's all North America. You can see all the storms and everything down here. This is absolutely amazing. Um, this is why receiving stuff from... A Go 16 is so exciting. Let's see what else I got here. I, I just quickly looked at that. Let's go in here and let's look at M2 if there's anything in M2. 13 and hands. Oh, yeah, something in there. Wow. So there's some more stuff. So what I'll do is I'm going to go through. Um, I'm going to go through the directories and see what I can pull out. And I'll put it in the blog post, but this 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 will be um, this will be good for the video. Let's see if I can get anything else in there.